सो हेलो एस्पिरेंट्स सो विल डिस्कस साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी क्वेश्चन दैट केम इन मेन्स ट्वेंटी सो विल डिस्कस टू क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो द क्वेश्चन ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वॉज ऑन एक्सपेक्टेड लाइन्स ये चार्ट जिपिटी वॉज इन न्यूज बट यू पी एस सी हैज द हैबिट ऑफ आस्किंग अ ब्रॉडर क्वेश्चन दैन ऑन अ वेरी वेरी नैरो और स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ टॉपिक सो दे हैव आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ ए आई वॉट डू वी अंडरस्टैंड बाई ए आई एंड हाउ इट इज बींग अप्लाइड इन क्लिनिकल डायग्नोसिस सो लेट सी द क्वेश्चन so this was the question in gs paper 3 introduce the concept of artificial intelligence ai how does ai help in clinical diagnosis do you perceive any threat to privacy of the individual in the use of ai in the healthcare again the, if you look at the dimensions so it is asking about a specific area that how ai is being used in healthcare and even in healthcare it is asking how it is being used in diagnosis so you have to take a note of this that it is asking a very specific application so you should be careful of that and also ai comes with ethical considerations but even in ethical consideration it is asking privacy of the individual in the use of ai in the healthcare so even in ethical dimension you have to take care that it is asking a specific ethical dimension so let us see how we could have approached this question so in introduction in introduction you could have given just a simple definition of ai that what do you understand by ai so that would suffice so in science and technology questions it is always said by advisable that we use some introduction or that is definitional based introduction so here ai is the emulation of human intelligence in machines it encompasses machine learning natural language processing and computer vision ai enables machines to learn reason solve problems and make decisions and the term was coined by john mccarthy way back in 1950s so he was a computer scientist so you could have used a simple definition itself to introduce the concept of ai and to start this answer and in the body part so there are two parts that you have to address first is how ai is being used in clinical diagnosis so here everybody could write some Yeah, some dimensions of to this answer, but what you have to do to get uh, something extra is basically add some examples. So here, here you are seeing the example of IBM Watson. So IBM Watson is the AI program which can go for data mining and which can go for suggestion to the patients and that which kind of disease that they are suffering from. They can also analyze the diagnostic tools, the images that come out of that. and provide a better uh, suggestion that uh, whether a person could be having cancer or not so ibm watson is considered to be one of the best ai tools in the healthcare sector so you could have added this example another example that you could have mentioned that niti aayog is also helping to roll out a handheld device which can early detect what is called as diabetic retinopathy so these are some examples that you could have used and obviously uh, you can use that it can that ai could be used in prediction in prediction of diseases so it it has that predictive capability or machine learning can predict even pandemics like covid so you could have used this point also and overall the operations in diagnosis or scheduling or appointment with doctors or with uh, diagnostic tools so that could also be improved so efficiency could be increased by using ai tools so you could have used these points to elaborate this part of the question now the second part of the question is regarding the ethical part so you could have used this avoiding privacy concerns with ai in the healthcare sector so first concern is obviously about identity theft so if ai tools like ibm watson can mine so much of patient data then there is always a concern that this data could be misused or it could be even uh, used to uh, give away the identity of the individual so these are personal data these are uh, quite intimate datas which people wouldn't want to uh, give it away to any organization or to any individual so that concern is always there there is always concern of Uh, like this concern that potential misuse by insurance companies so just to give you an example after 
successful completion of the human genome project so in usa the insurance companies were asking the people asking people to go for dna test and if they came to know that uh, some people if they were vulnerable to future diseases insurance companies were even denying insurance cover or asking for a higher premium so this was an unjust or unethical usage or they were trying to misuse those biological knowledge so th there is always such threat even with ai and what we are saying that it could also lead to commercialization of our medical data and that could also be a cause of uh, concern and obviously data protection is very very important so data leakage is always a concern and we have seen incidences where personal data has been leaked so these are privacy related concerns so what could we write in conclusion so in conclusion we can obviously overturn some of these challenges to write a conclusion so to address privacy concerns in the ai healthcare we need enhanced regulations we need transparent ai practices education for professionals and public and ethical ai development and collaborative efforts among healthcare ai developers and regulation of balanced privacy protection and ai advancement so some solution oriented conclusion is a good conclusion thank you